Hi everyone, this is Eddie, amateur radio call sign WD3D, and I've had some questions concerning ham radio testing, getting your technician license, and or upgrading to general and extra, and we're currently doing that online. If you go to our website at WD3D.live um, and uh, go to the license testing uh, link at the top, uh, you'll pre be presented with this page that will walk you step by step in three steps uh, to getting your technician license and or upgrading to general or extra. The first thing you need to do, step one is, uh, if you don't already have a license, is to get your F FRN, which is your FCC registration number, and there's a link on our site here. When you click it, it will take you over uh, to the, uh, the CORS, uh, FCC CORS, the Commission Registration System. And all this is is just a place where you can maintain all of your various licenses. You may get GMRS or uh, other licenses, and this is a place where that is saved. After you get your FRN, uh, the second step, step number two here, uh, would be to go to hamstudy.org and uh, study uh, for your test by going first into study mode. So, for example, if you were going for your technician exam, you just simply click where it says uh, technician, and then you go into study mode. There are three different modes here, study mode, reading the questions, and the practice test. So if you go into study mode, um, let me get signed in here. You'll be presented with um, the entire question pool that is in the technician exam. So uh, you know, the first question here, what property of a radio wave defines its polarization? Let's just randomly click one. Uh, it just happened to be correct. So you'll remember that the property of a radio wave that de defines its polarization is the orientation of the electric field. Simply click next. Let's randomly pick one here. Okay, good. We've got an incorrect one. So what does the abbreviation FET stand for? Um, and we chose frequency emission transmitter. First thing that you can do is you can click in the corner here and we'll explain to you what the uh, field effect transistor does. And once you click it to make it go away, um, you can click this to show you the uh, correct answer. So you'll remember that the abbreviation FET stands for a uh, field effect uh, transistor. And then um, you can move on to the, uh, the next question. And you keep working your way through the question pool and it will tell you your overall aptitude and the, the percentage of the questions that you've seen. Um, and you can see for each section here uh, where you've answered the questions. Well, just a little bit at a time, maybe half an hour uh, to an hour a day in the evening when you're sitting around, you can just go through and uh, learn just and they're all very short explanations for each question over time probably a week or so or whatever you begin to it, it sticks you begin to learn what each one of the uh, the questions is looking for and after you do that um, you go back and you start doing, and it'll show you here your progress for the number you've seen, the number you answered right. Then you just start doing uh, practice tests. And once you get to the point where, you know, you're scoring 80% on the practice tests, you're ready to attempt to take the, uh, the exam. And when you do that, after you've got your FRN, after you've seen the questions and you've done uh, the pra practice exams, now you're ready to do an online uh, testing session where we use Zoom uh, with exam tools to give you your exam. It's very relaxed. There'll be um, 
you know, VEs from literally all over the United States, but there'll be three, a minimum of three in your room. It could be in Georgia, Tennessee, New York, uh, Louisiana, all over. And um, they, they will administer the exam to you as if you were in an exam room. So the first thing, uh, and I'll highlight it here, the first thing that you'll need is just your photo ID. And what you're going to do is one of the the VE that, that's leading the session will ask you to simply put your ID up to the camera. And so you'll just take your ID, you'll put it up to the camera just so that they can see it. Once the uh, VEs give the thumbs up, you can put your uh, uh, license, uh, license or your ID away. Um, if it is someone that's under 13, the only other thing that you need to do is just fill out the uh, have the uh, guardian fill out the, the COPPA form, uh, and that's for compliance with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. And then the next thing, there are two things that you're going to need to prepare. One is your room, uh, and then the other is your computer. And in your room, only you uh, can be in your uh, exam room uh, during the exam session. And it's a good idea just to ask other people in the home to, you know, close the door wherever you're taking the test and just tell people for the next 15, 20 minutes, I'm going to be taking an exam. Please don't uh, come in. And we have found that bathrooms are really good for taking your exam. If you have a laptop or whatever you can carry into the bathroom, uh, there's usually no papers or anything on the desk that have to be moved or it's real, real simple uh, just to go in there and take your exam and it goes very, very uh, quickly. Um, if you aren't in a bathroom, if you're at your desk, you just need to clear your test area of, of uh, all non-exam materials. The, the, the VEs won't want any books or papers or especially post-it notes up where you can see it. You just Wherever you set your computer down to take your exam, you just want to clear that area of any other items uh, that may be around it. Um, headphones, your, your telephone, you know, things like that. Um, and then uh, any other computer uh, screens that may be in the area or TV screens, the VEs will ask you just to simply cover those with a towel or a shirt or something, either that or turn them around where they are no longer in your field of view. And they'll do that. They'll ask you to take a secondary device like your telephone and you'll just hold it chest high and they'll ask you just to do a 360 circle around the room and then across the surface of your desk and they may ask you to cover a monitor or do something like that and then once you've done that you can simply put the uh, the secondary device back down you know aim towards you uh, so that they can see you and then also on the screen the second thing that you need to to uh, prepare is your computer uh, it must have a webcam, a microphone, and speakers, and um, the Mac operating system requires that you unlock a security and privacy setting that allows Zoom to record before your, your screen can be shared. So, uh, And you also want to make sure that your internet connection is good because if it gets interrupted, it may void the exam session and or uh, we may have to start over all the way at the beginning, including the room scan again. So you just want to make sure that your internet connection is really, really uh, good. And this is a very important one. This third one here, I'll highlight that, is uh, download and test run Zoom on your computer and on your telephone or your secondary device. Your secondary device may be either a telephone or a, an iPad or a laptop, whatever, but uh, on your main computer and your secondary device, your phone, you want to download Zoom to both of those and you want to ensure that it's working on both of those devices before you come to the meeting because it'll save so much time 
uh, if both of those are operational. And also be sure that on your main device, your laptop, desktop, or, or uh, your MacBook, whatever you're using, make sure that you can share the screen. So there's a green share screen button in Zoom and just click it, make sure that you can share your screen. Once you've done those things, uh, you're all good to go. The next thing is headsets, earbuds, headphones, smart watches, smart eyewear, uh, and those types of things are, are not allowed, so don't bring those. And here's the big thing is, to really get your computer ready, close everything on your computer except one browser window, and an online calculator if you think that you'll need it. Everything else, you can go down, I'll show you here, there's a little carrot down here in the lower taskbar. You can click on that and hover your mouse over each one. Oops, it's going to update there. You can hover your mouse over each one of those uh, items and the ones that aren't being used, just um, right click on it and choose quit and it will quit that application and you're you're all good to go so uh the next the final thing is just verify if you are using a laptop or some other device like that that it's either plugged in or it's fully charged because you don't want it to go out while you're taking the session again that could either void the session or may cause a restart on the session um, afterwards so that's pretty much it for the uh, for the online sessions. If you have any questions or concerns, you can email me through the uh, the website here through the contact on the website, or you can also email me directly at wd3d at protonmail dot com uh, if I can answer any other questions. So um, thanks so much and congratulations. Getting, getting your license or your upgrades not that difficult. If you'll just put in a few hours uh, going through and learning these uh, questions and um, doing the pra 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 practice exams, uh, you'll be all set for exam day. So uh, 73, everybody. Thanks a lot. Have a great, uh, have a great evening.